In question 12, we have to determine which of these four quadrilaterals has two acute angles and only one line of symmetry. So what do we know about angles? So acute angles are angles that are less than 90 degrees. Obtuse angles are greater than 90 but less than 180. And then right angles are exactly 90 degrees. So let's look at all the shapes. Let's start with this one here. This angle and this angle, well those would be acute angles because they're less than 90 degrees. Whereas these angles here and here are greater than 90 but less than 180, so they're obtuse angles. So this figure, quadrilateral, does have two acute angles. So it is a possibility. Let's look at the next quadrilateral. This angle here and this angle here, the opposite angles, they're both less than 90 degrees, so they are acute angles. And then this angle here and this angle here, they're greater than 90 but less than 180, so they're obtuse angles. Again, this quadrilateral has two acute angles, so it's a possibility. Okay, let's try the next one. Well, when we notice here, all these angles are the same and they're all 90 degrees. So these are all right angles, and therefore there's no acute angles here. So this one is not a possibility for the answer. All right, let's try this one here. We can notice that this angle here is acute. This angle here is obtuse. And these angles here are right angles. So this one only has one acute angle. So it also is not a possibility. We need to have two acute angles. Now that we've eliminated these two, let's turn our attention to these two and look for lines of symmetry. Let's start with this one here. And when we're looking for lines of symmetry, what we're doing is looking for vertical, horizontal, or diagonal lines of symmetry. Okay, let's start with vertical lines of symmetry. If I was to flip this shape about this line, I'd probably end up with something that looks like that. It doesn't match up on this side, so therefore there's no vertical line of symmetry. Okay, let's try horizontal lines of symmetry. Let me draw a horizontal line about halfway through. If I was to flip, say, this side on the other side, I'd end up with something that looks like that. Again, it doesn't match up, so it's not a line of symmetry. All right, let's try a diagonal line of symmetry. If I was to draw a line through here and try to flip this shape over this line of symmetry, I think I'd end up pretty much close to here. So it, it is a line of symmetry in this case. And that would hold true as long as these lines here are all the same length, so it's a rhombus. Okay, so we found a line of symmetry. That's one. Let's try the other diagonal direction then. If I was to draw a line through here, try to flip, say, this side on, over this line of symmetry, I think again we'd end up here, which matches up, so therefore it is also a line of symmetry this way. So what we found out with, in this shape here, we have two lines of symmetry. And since we're only looking for one line of symmetry, we know that this is not an option for the answer. So it looks like our first option is the right answer, but let's double check. Let's go through the process. Start with a vertical line of symmetry, and if I was to draw this shape here, and then flip it, let's actually do that we see that it does match up on the other side, so there is one line of symmetry, which is a vertical line of symmetry. Okay, let's try the other options. Let's try 
a horizontal line of symmetry. And if I did that, if I try to put this shape and flip it over the line, I'd end up with something like that, which is not symmetrical, doesn't match up, so that's not a line of symmetry. Let's try the diagonals then. If I go from here to here and try to flip this over that line, I'd end up with something like this. Doesn't match up, not a line of symmetry. All right, let's try the last option just to make sure. Again, if I try to flip this shape, I would end up with something like that. Again, not a line of symmetry. So it looks like there is only one line of symmetry, and that's the vertical line here. So this quadrilateral has two acute angles, one line of symmetry, matches our criteria, therefore it's the right answer.